Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this tutorial, I will show you how you can uh, use any image and make it to a colorful popped out image like you can add much more detail on color and also adding sharpness and the overall dynamics of the image will be like huge change with all these tweaks that we are about to do so I hope this video helps and uh, it, it's a really good one where you can uh, actually pick up some really nice technique that you can apply in your future works and especially for uh, food photography or product photography these tricks they are much useful where you can make a simple image a much more dramatic much more dynamic looking picture so without further ado let's begin all right guys uh, now we are inside photoshop and inside photoshop now i have my board ready and everything so i'm gonna drag drop my image in here so there we go my image is drag and dropped and right now uh the image in smart object mode and i don't really want smart object mode so i am gonna make it, rasterize it so it looks fine now let's select the crop tool and make sure that delay cropped is unchecked so let's crop to the area of the image dimension and uh, there we go it looks okay so now what we can do is uh this image looks pretty fine with all lighting and everything but i want much more dramatic look to it i want it to much more popped out with color details and everything so go to adjustment layer we can do a curve but um when you like decrease or increase the crop it just affect overall everything in that photo so as you can see if i decrease it looks not good right so let's just delay that um it just not looks very well fitting so what we can do is we can add a levels adjustment there and levels is really good if you play this slider it will increase the shadows but now uh, this will overexpose but we don't want that we want this one where we can bring out some much more popped to our scene so let's just increase this slider and uh, the overall highlights is increased and look there you go look, guys it looks pretty good and if you do this it will uh, keep some fade to the scene and if you do this lighter it will dim out everything so inside highlights it looks pretty good now what we can do is actually we can go to shadow and highlights from image adjustment but it will just look much more overexposed like everything is exposed right so we can do another settings to bring back much more details much more everything to the scene and what is that is camera filter camera filter it's 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 a plugin that comes up with photoshop it's free but before going to camera raw let's duplicate our leverage so we can see a before and after effect on everything and as i was saying camera raw filter it's a highly powerful filter uh, filter plugin whatever you say i use it every day on my work it's really a lifesaver so camera inside camera filter just increase the textures increase the clarity increase the sharpness play around with the parts that you want and uh, in camera filter there's also color grading option where you can do color grading you can add vignette you can add some green like 8 or 10 would be pretty good uh, right now uh, this image is already popping out with much more details the patties are looking nice the uh, uh, sauce it also looks like dripping and there's the butter wash and the pan it's also coming on that so it all like camera raw filter it's all in all it's a powerful tool if you use it correctly so instead camera raw filter just increase the uh, sharpness increase the clarity increase um, i'm going to do a little bit of time color grading on inside that too like tiny bit of it not to over too over much because the scene the color is already looking pretty good and, well, and i like it so inside the camera filter um, also don't forget to add some grain because when you do like much more detail like sharpness to the photo sometimes it just uh, looks kind of bad with the edges so when you press uh, the uh, grain in there it looks like much more fitting to the scene like everything blends pretty nice and uh, looks pretty good on 
a, like over adjustment of the grain so what we can do is right now after we go to the camera filter and we do everything nice and it looks pretty good on side there and uh, on camera filter right now what we can do is we apply it and there we go guys it looks much much more detailed much more dramatic and like wouldn't you take a bite of it it looks pretty good and uh, now we can dim the highlights on our table let's give it a little bit of a gradient so I'm selecting black let's do it again let's do it twice and after doing it twice let's decrease the um, opacity and like I told you guys, now the overall burger looks much more juicier with the bun looks much more tasty. The pad is looking pretty nice. So now let's select all of our adjustment that we did and make a layer group, call it to something like adjustment. And here you go guys. That's, here is the before and uh, here is the after. It looks much more. Uh, dramatic the details are there let's zoom in you can see the uh, burger patty looks uh, much more juicy the trips and everything looks much more crispier like uh, like the overall tone is pretty changed and it looks much more dramatic so uh, let's take like before and after to make sure that it looks good if you want to do some more tweakings you can do that so there you guys this is how you can turn a uh, image to a much more dynamic dramatic image so i hope this video helped if it did subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you on to the next one so until then take care and have a nice day